Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to create and edit tables in design view in open office days. Let's see with practical example here. Just click on the or open the open office and uh, it will display the view like this and just select the database from here. Click and create a new database and then click on the next. You don't change anything, just click on the finish and here write the database name as uh, anything, whatever you want. And just write here the new database 13 and then click on the save button. And uh, look here, you will get the view like this. This is the database window where you can get the tabs like table, queries, forms, and reports. I'm just going to create a table in design view so just click on the table tab and click on the create table in design view just click it and you will get the view like this and here you need to write your field name i'm just going to write my field name or take a field name as a roll number okay and here select the data type I'm just selecting the data type as an integer and the second field as a name and take the field type as a text and then city okay and the text type as a field type and I'm just going to make the rule number as a primary key just right click and make it the primary key this is called the row selector just right click on the row selector like this and click on the primary key okay and just the row number i make here the primary key primary key means uh, you cannot insert the duplicate value on that field and the name the second field is the name and you will uh, get here the fitted properties, some fitted properties like entry required, length and default values. I'm just going to explain the entry required and just look here the name, select the name where you want to apply the entry required. I'm just using the name field to use the fitted property as entry required. Look here, you will get the two options, yes or no. If you select the S for the name, it means entry required means you uh, you are uh, you have compulsory are you just it is compulsory to enter the name in the name field whenever you insert or enter the data in the table. And I'm just selecting the city field and using the default value as a no error so it's automatically make the city as a no error you can just give the other name or enter the other city name just overwrite as a no error by default it display the no error and now i'm just going to save the table look here save as here you simply uh, write your table name as a student or whatever you want student and then click on ok so I have created the table in design view and now I'm just going to close this okay look here this is the student you will see the student table in the table pane and just right click on the table and click on the edit it will open the structure of the table student and now you can also add any fields in this table or you can change the structure of a table i'm just going to write here the add uh, another field like uh, class okay and uh, take here the data type as a uh, integer look here and then save this okay i have 
added one extra field as a class. This table contains the three fields as a previous and now after modification it has a four field. Now I'm just going to close it and again right click add it you will get here the class as a table has a four fields. Now I'm just going to delete this field just right click on the row selector and click on the delete it will delete the field row and now i am going to save it in this way you ha you can add the field name in your table now i'm just going to close and double click here it will display for entering the data i'm just going to write here one and uh, name as a uh, ramis look here it's by default give the city as a noida now i'm going to take the second record two and uh, rakesh and right here gkp okay and uh, save the data the table you have entered the two data in a table and save with the help of save icon from the standard toolbar and now i'm just going to explain the primary key here just write here one and uh, amit if you are going to trying to save this record it will give the error inserting the new record violation of uni construct means you are going to insert the duplicate data so you cannot insert duplicate data because you have made the roll number as a primary key now i'm just going to change the value as a roll number three and now you are you can save this data okay look here and again click on table your store data in the table look like this okay so in this video tutorial we have seen that how to create the table in design view how to set the primary key and uh, how to set the fields properties and how to enter the data in a table and uh, what is the use of the primary key and thank you friends thanks for watching my video thanks a lot